broccoli and a Mars bar. Let's see exactly what they do to my blood sugar. So a few days ago, I ate a Mars bar alone and this is the impact it had on my blood sugar. Today, I'm going to first eat a whole bowl of broccoli and then I will eat the exact same Mars bar to see if the fiber in the broccoli is going to help reduce the spike of the Mars bar. I'm really curious about, this is a test I did a few times with drinks. I'm really curious to see what it does on a Mars bar. So if I scan this with my calorie tracker Sugar AI, we can see that this meal has 278 calories, which is a lot and almost everything comes from the Mars bar with 45 grams of carbs, 33 grams of sugar and a health score of 67 which is really not ideal. So it's not technically a very healthy meal, but I'm really curious to see on the glucose monitor exactly what it will do. Let's go. All right, it's now been exactly two hours since I ate my amazing healthy meal of broccoli and Mars, which honestly felt much better than the Mars alone. We're now gonna look on the glucose monitor to see exactly what it did to my blood sugar. And tomorrow I will test a bounty bar alone and then I'll do bounty plus broccoli as well. So this is the result I had on the Mars bar alone, which is honestly a very big spike, almost a hundred, pretty big. And this is the impact I had with broccoli plus Mars which is honestly quite a bit bigger. Honestly, quite a bit better. It was expected, but I didn't know for sure because it's only a bowl of broccoli, but it is better. So, I mean, whenever you feel like eating a Mars, uh, maybe you can steam some broccoli on the side, <laughs> even though it's a bit unusual. <laughs> but we can definitely see that the fiber in the broccoli did help to reduce the Mars bar sugar. So it means that if you want to eat sweets, it's much better to eat them after you eat some fiber or proteins.